Today we're going to be doing a guide on Mozzie and how to play him. So Mozzie is a 3 speed 1 armor uh, defender and he's kind of a hybrid. His role is intel and intel denial at the same time. Because as you know we take the attacker's drones which is the intel denial part and have them for ourselves. Timestamps are going to be in the description below. So starting off with his loadout. Mozzie honestly has one of the best defender loadouts as of late. So he has the P10 Roni. This is an SMG. It only has 20 bullets but the high fire rate really does make up for it. This gun downs people extremely fast at close range. But from the medium to long distances it tends to turn into a pea shooter. So if you want to use this I don't know stick to uh, close quarters engagements. And it also has this pretty cool holographic sight. I normally hate the holographic sight, but I love this one. And over to his other gun, the Commando. This is kind of like Vigil and Jaeger's guns in terms of they're above the SMG, but it's not as good as the assault rifle. So, you know, it's somewhere in between. Um, this gun, I think a lot of people are going to like mainly because of the cool reload animation. And how to trigger this is if you reload while bullets are still in the magazine, he's going to flick it to the left side. But if you completely empty the mag, uh, then he's going to flick the mag out to the right side. So that's how to get the two different reload animations. Now this gun only has 25 bullets, but it has a lower rate of fire and it does more damage than the P10 Roni. It's pretty good at medium and close quarters. Again, long range, it tends to fall off, but overall it's still a pretty good gun. Now, normally when operators have multiple weapons, uh, one is clearly better than the other, but that's not the case for Mozzie. Um, both of these guns are good. Both of them have a very manageable recoil. Um, so it's actually down to your personal preference which one you prefer because I like both of them but I prefer the commando simply because it has those five extra bullets and more damage. I like my guns to have the potential to you know kind of be able to kill two people with one clip. You can't do that with the P10 Roni you have to reload after every kill or you know when you down someone. So that's why I go with the commando. Now when it comes to the secondaries uh, the pistol is nothing special. I personally put this on par with the German pistols. I would suggest you use the sawed off shotgun. It only has three bullets but it's pretty good at destroying the environment and helping you set up especially if you're playing bombs you don't have to figure out who you know who has impacts or has to see for the wall you just use a shotgun to uh, blow a hole between both the objectives and you can also kind of use this to play like buck um, destroy the floorboards and watch people coming through doors so yeah uh, I would suggest going with the sawed off shotgun and lastly C4 and barbed wire are his gadgets and this is a no-brainer you obviously should go with the C4 now Mozzie's gadget is called the Pest Launcher. It launches three uh, robotic spiders that jump on drones that pass through its area and hack them so they now work for your team. You can either place these on walls and let them jump on drones if they pass through the area or you can directly shoot them at drones. If you miss it's fine because you can pick them back up and redeploy them. Now when it comes to placing the pests, I would not suggest putting them on doorways that actually lead outside of the building uh, for two reasons. The first one is that attackers get this little red icon if a pest is nearby so they're not going to come through that doorway. And secondly, if a drone goes back outside while uh, the spider is hacking it, then you're going to see a red ring around your drone and then it's going to be destroyed just because you can't take hacked drones outside so that's going to be a waste of a drone so let the drones come inside a little bit and then try to capture them by the second doorway maybe on the exit to that room or on the top of staircases there are a lot of popular drone spots uh, that you can put the pest I normally tend to catch the most drones when they put them around the corner from drone holes or or the objective room so those are your tips for placing the pest when you capture a drone it's going to be highlighted white so defenders if you see a white drone don't shoot it that means it's friendly also the light is going to be blue so this goes for attackers if you see a drone the light is not red it's blue shoot it because that is a hacked drone when it comes to counters iq can see hacked drones she can also see the pest on the walls thatcher can destroy the pest but not hacked drones uh twitch can destroy the pest and also drones and dokubi cannot take back hacked drones but she can just see where they are and when it comes to, I guess, operator combos, uh, Mute and Mozzie is a pretty good one. As you know, Mute will just stop the drones, making it easier for Mozzie to catch them. And also Mira. 
If you're Mozzie and there's a mirror on your team, try your best to protect the mirror of mirrors if there is a twitch on the enemy team. So, you know, maybe put one of your pets close to the mirror window or in the same room that the mirror window is in so you can catch the twitch drone by the door. Now lastly, on to tactics, how is the best way to play Mozzie? Uh, there are two ways that you can play him, you can either play the supportive role or as a roamer. So I tend to play a bit of both depending on how much time is left in the round. So normally after I catch the drones, if you're going the support route, then I tend to set up uh, one drone in each objective. I only play bombs, if you play uh, hostage or the other game modes, then you can set up drones around the map. But I just find some place to hunker down and I go on the drones and I scout ahead for the roamers or give intel to my team to the other people that are anchoring with me. So you can kind of play him like Valkyrie but with movable cameras instead. And when I'm roaming I tend to set up the drones in spots that I'm going to be roaming close to. So hallways and in watching certain entry points and my team can either drop the pings on enemies so I can get them or I can check the drones myself and get the drop on people still. So Mozzie is honestly a pretty versatile defender and I definitely think he is worth buying. But that is the end of my guide so if you found this helpful you can leave a like and share it around. Comment down below what are your thoughts or some of the best tactics you use with Mozzie and subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content. I'll be working on the gridlock guide next so make sure you subscribe and stick around for that. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.